Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get started with learning more SQL. What we're going to be doing in this particular exercise is we're going to be creating the database. We're also going to be inserting a table into that database. We're going to be doing our first select statement. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up your SQL, your SSMS, and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is just going to hit new query. Once you hit new query, what I want you to do is I want you to come over here to databases and I want you to expand your databases and as you can see here I have a few databases that I already have created in databases that I utilize for Microsoft which is AdventureWorks which is one of the recommended ones to use and look at and explore but today we're going to be creating our own database so in order to do that all you have to do is simply type in the SQL commands just follow along create database and our database name for this training is going to be, I'm going to give it my name and then put global at the end of it, like so. So that is going to be the name of this database. Once you do that, all I want you to do next is hit execute. Then once you hit execute, you should see commands completed successfully. Once it has completed successfully, what I want you to do is go. You should see that database that you just created. And the one that I created was Huff Global, and it shouldn't have any tables in it just yet. We have completed number one. The next thing we're gonna be doing is inserting a table into that database. Once you have your database created, what you wanna do now is come up here to master and change it to your new database. Because now you wanna start inserting a table into your new database. So now we're gonna go here and we're gonna say create. Remember, we're gonna, we're gonna use all caps create table and this is going to be the customer table so for my customer table what I want to do is I want to have an ID and the ID is going to be an integer next I want to have last name the last name will be a character, so we're going to choose Varchar. Next, I'm going to have the first name. And this is also a character, so we're going to choose Varchar for the first name. Next, we want to have ID, last name, first name. Let's go with the gender. And this is a character. So this will also be, we'll just put that one at 50. Then we'll have a address. Let's give it an address. Next we're gonna do a var chart for address. And we'll put this at 255 as well. So with our address, we're gonna need a city. This will also be a var chart. So note that with each each one that we add, we're actually adding these as columns. And we're going to need a state, which is also going to be a var char. And last but not least, we're going to have a zip code. And that'll be an integer since it's just a number. And then we'll close that with the close parentheses. And then we can put our semicolon at the end of it. And with, with since we have we have this created, we can go ahead and get rid of that. And now we can hit execute. It said it has completed successfully, so we'll hit refresh here. Then we'll drop down to our tables, and now we'll see that we have inserted our first table into our query. So we're done with number two. So we can just basically get rid of this. So we've went ahead and created our table. Now we have a customer table. So now we're gonna move on to number three. Even though we don't have any data in our table just yet, we're gonna run a query on the table that we created just to make sure that we can do that. So we're just gonna say select all. We're gonna say from, and then we're gonna say huff. Not analytics. Health global. 
dot dbo and then we're going to do customer and then we're going to run that query and we'll see that we get this back because we don't have any data there is no data to show and i'll just bring this up a little bit queries executed successfully and now you have created your first database as well as create your first table